Well, the basketball court is not the only place where we're seeing competition these days. No, the greater DC metro area housing market is super competitive as well. I have your full March market update coming up next. Stick around. Hi, I'm Greer Updegraft. I'm a local realtor with Pearson Smith Realty and this is your March market update. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video so you stay up to date with all of my real estate content. Well, bright MLS data through February is in, and the good news is we saw a 7.2% increase in new listings. More inventory is certainly welcome news as we have been facing a major inventory shortage and buyer demand is drastically outpacing supply. This is leading to multiple offer situations and buyers having to be really patient and persevering, often putting in offers on multiple homes before going under contract. We are seeing a discrepancy in the type of homes that are popping up in these new listings. There are more condos being listed than townhomes and single family homes. That's why often for single family homes, we are really seeing those multiple offer situations with townhomes as well. Now, the median sale price in our area went up 4.2%, excuse me, 4.7% year over year to $560,000 as a median sale price, and we're seeing about 10 days on market. Now, for some, some homes, they go on the market Thursday or Friday ahead of the weekend, and by Monday or Tuesday, they are under contract. So it's definitely a competitive market. For sellers, the homes that are selling the quickest are the ones that are move-in ready where all the updates have been done. So for sellers, if you have some cosmetic updates that are needed in your home, it's often worth it to put in the work and the money up front in order to see a big payoff when your house goes on the market because many buyers will be interested and your sale price will escalate. Now, the Federal Reserve met last week, and while they kept rates unchanged, it's expected the federal funds rate may be decreased three times in the remainder of 2024. While that is different than mortgage interest rates, they are certainly tied, and so experts are predicting that mortgage interest rates will decline by the end of 2024 as well. Yes, that is always good news for buyers, but of course, as rates decrease, more buyers enter the market and competition increases, leading to prices increasing as well. What the hope is, is that these lower rates might cause some sellers to be comfortable selling their homes and looking for a new home, which might shake loose a little bit of inventory, but only time will tell. If you'd like information on your specific area in Northern Virginia or DC, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to run numbers for you for even your neighborhood. If you're thinking of buying or selling a home, reach out to me. My name is Greer Updegraft again, and I would love to help you with your real estate purchase or sale. Have a great day and take care.